So let's talk about how we structure our projects to be able to efficiently share code. The first way we can share files between our projects is through file linking. This is similar to shortcuts or links. And this is where we have a single copy of the file somewhere on disk and each project that wants to use that file links or points to it. This approach was once the way to share code across platforms because it's quite easy to use. You create a source file or asset in an associated project of some kind. This can be a class library or even one of the platform projects. And then you add a link to that file into all of your other platform projects. This means the same physical files associated to multiple projects and compiled into each project. This approach does work, but it's somewhat tedious to add a lot of files because you have to do it one at a time. And in addition, refactoring and navigation can be troublesome with this approach because the IDE is not aware of the relationship between the different projects. So renaming a symbol in a shared file might not be caught in all the projects where that symbol is actually being used. As a result, we really don't recommend this approach anymore because it's been replaced with a new approach called shared projects. Shared projects, sometimes referred to as shared application projects, were added into Visual Studio 2013 Update 2 and Xamarin Studio 5. They allow you to define a specific project type where the intent is to actually share all of the files in that project with other projects. And it acts just like file linking, except you only have to add one reference to your target to get all the files added. This then copies all the files and assets included in the shared project right into each of your platform projects as part of the compile process. In addition, because the IDE knows about the relationships, all the normal refactoring and navigation tools should work just fine. The key thing to know about shared projects is they simply define a project container. Unlike all the other project styles you typically work with, shared projects do not have any output. There is no executable or DLL produced by compiling a shared project. In fact, by itself, the shared project isn't even compiled. It must be added to another project in order to have the compiler process the files. When you add a reference to a shared project, the compiler and the build tools will act as if all the files in that shared project were added directly to the target. In other words, the C-sharp source files in the shared project are compiled directly with the target using that project's build settings.